Hello everyone, it's me, Chase Kabita. Welcome back to our savior, Record Colted. Last episode, we finished a few challenges. We finished all the challenges actually, right? Yeah, they're all done. Midnight Harvest, Frosted Farm, Dunzo. Now apparently, I talked to Dave, and apparently there are alternate endings for Boiling Swamp and Filthy Fields. Now I can turn off all enemies here. I can turn them all on too, but I'm gonna turn them all off because you know what? I feel like getting these endings because I've never seen them before. We're gonna start with Filthy Fields, and we're just gonna knock this out. We're just gonna get these alternate endings because I didn't even know they existed. Like, I talked to Dave about the- <gasps> There's an intro sequence. I've never seen this. I've only ever played the challenges, and apparently the challenges just throw you right in. Oh, I bet it's something to do with this. It's like a sacrificial table or a tomb or something. I bet it's something you gotta find in here in the house, and you use it on the table or whatever. That's all right. All right. All right. So there are no enemies active. We about to knock this out. Oh, it's outside. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Can't I like look out? Like, can't I get up here and like see where? Okay. There's one over there. There's one over there. Oh, this is so cool. I never noticed this. You can see where your do your friends are. You see where your buddies are. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and then over here to get these two. I'm assuming. So anyway, uh, alternate ending stuff. Ooh, give me that. For what though? There are no enemies on the map, Jayski Bean. All right, here we go. Go. Oh, knock that one out by the big tree. And then over here. Right? Yep, I can hear the jingle jangling. Here we go, boom. Easy, three out of seven. Knocking it out. No problem. No problem. Not a problem at all. All right. All right. I'm not gonna lie. It's really nice not having to watch out for any enemies. And let me just take a second to applaud Dave's uh, game development skills right now. Like, I know I bitch about his games a lot. Specifically Dave.exe because I get so pissy playing it. I just get ragey, guys. Okay, I just get real mad when I die a lot and have to restart a lot. But anyway, anyway, Dave's come a long way. Obviously, he's a big inspiration to me, you know, and uh, I like his games and I like him as a friend. He's really super cool, nice to, ooh, little cubby areas. Do those mean anything? I might have to come back for that. Oh, nope, that's the exit exit. So we're five out of seven. Anyway, Dave has come a long way. He's come a very long way. Like he builds atmospheres so well now and honestly this game has been my favorite dave game from the beginning oh it's right over there oh what's this bathroom another possible location for stuff oh. who where why who put who be putting bear traps out here is it are the birds putting bear traps out here bear traps from the birds am i even going the right way should i go should i go the other way back here I saw the helps. The helps. Hello? You want to help me right there? Can I help you? I want to help you. I promise I do. I promise I do. But anyway, yeah, like I said, it's got to be something to do with the tomb. Or whatever that is. Sacrificial table, tomb. It's one of those things for sure. If I know sacrificial tables and tombs when I see them, that's just them. That's what they is. It's gotta be right here. Yep, there it is. In the graveyard. There's so many landmarks. There's so many possible things that it could be. Okay, you saved everyone to find the exit. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna look for stuff first, actually. I'm gonna check this bathroom for stuff. Or there's little like side pockets. Ooh, what's this? Okay, probably probably nothing here. These crows! I'm glad there's no enemies here, because these crows be going crazy. These crows really do be going Scooby do be going crazy. And little side pockets, any, anything in little side- I have a feeling about these side pockets. These side pockets. Trying to find it. Trying to find this ending. Is there a key in here like the other level? No. There's a bear trap on the ground. I saw you. I saw- I seen you. Any side- oh, that's the- I don't want to go that way. I definitely don't want to go that way. So let's head to- ooh. oh, that's not a bear trap. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's see. Exit, exit. Anything, anything, anything. Where's that? 
little area that I saw. There's like a little pocket pocket thing, right? <gasps> there is a thing here. That's so subtle. Is that a knife? It is a sacrificial table, isn't it? I called it. I am a psychic. I know the future. I know this game. I've never done this. I swear. You sacrifice your friends to the corn gods for no legitimate reason. The end. Good one, Dave. I knew it was going to be culty. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's do the other one. I'm excited. That was fast. Boiling swamp. Let's do this. Can't wait to see the intro for this one. This is so cool. It's so laid back. Nice and easy. Boiling swamp. Awesome intro sequence, as I thought. So, theories. Is it going to be subtle like the last one? Is it going to be something that I have to look? I didn't even, I didn't even get a chance to like look in the house or anything. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I was considering like uh, dynamite locations and all that stuff. Okay, so there's a truck. It might be something. There's humming by the truck. There was humming by the uh, the sacrificial table. It's a table in the last level, so it's got to have something to do with the truck, right? Unless that ambience just is there just to be there. Anyway, like I was saying, Dave builds his atmosphere so well now. Like, he's always done really well in this game. Like, this has definitely been my favorite game. Uh, of Dave's regarding atmosphere like since since he released this one like the very first version of our savior I've I've been a, a very strong advo ad advocate advocate for this game and I mean obviously I advocate for all Dave's games but you know what I'm saying right you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying all right there's a little little bathroom here keep the bathrooms in mind because that's where the alternate ending was in the original level this is a kind of kind of a small uh, so you can't throw the dynamite? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> dynamite explosion sound, but no dynamite? Alright, so we're six out of seven. Last one right around the corner. You just gotta make sure we don't leave on accident. Yeah. So this was really straightforward. Levels super duper easy. Alright, picnic table, nothing. Um, I don't wanna over explore. But I also definitely want to find the exit. So we're going to check this bathroom. There's really not many landmarks. Like I said, it's a small level. So I feel like I'm going to be able to find this pretty, pretty dang easy. Pretty dang. If I was able to find the one in the maze easily, which notoriously takes me forever to even fit. Nope, that's the exit. It takes me forever to even finish the map. Oh, it's not in the bath, Dave. I am so proud of you. Not putting things in the bathrooms like we think they're going to be. Like, we done there think we gonna be in the bathroom, but it ain't no bathroom. It ain't, it ain't no bathroom. It's kind of cool you don't have to, you didn't have to take the, oh. Hello? What's that sound? <gasps> A gun? Oh, you betrayed your friends and became a hunter of the swamp. Oh, so is that me or is that me? Which one's me? Hey, you know what? I always wanted to grow up and be like, uh, Chumbo? <laughs> I love me some Chumbo. But yeah, that's it. Those were the endings. That was super easy to find. Way easier than I thought it was going to be. So the next and last possible thing that I think I could possibly do in this game is go through Filthy Fields and New Moon with every character unlocked. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to check it out real quick. This is the hardest level in my opinion. And the hardest weather mode, oh man, in all the enemies. Uh, I just want to look and I want to see how ridiculously chaotic this is. It's so dark, dude. I just want to see how ridiculous this, this game mode is. There's going to be so many enemies up. There's so many, so many enemies. I'm about to die, dude. I, I just, I feel it already in my bones. I'm not, I'm not going to get any of my, my friends. I'm not gonna get any, anyone. Interact with a thing, man! What are you doing? Oh, I'm so dead. There's no way! Oh, snap, I got one, baby! All right, there's one. So this is, I guarantee you this is the hardest challenge in this game. I, I can guarantee you, because you're basically screwed if you're seen, you know? Cause there's so many dead ends, there's so many enemies, you can get pincered so easily. I think the only way to really tackle this is just to run straight through. 
and just hope. Oh, snap. Yep, you just gotta hope, man. You just gotta hold out hope. They don't come up out of nowhere. Like Rugus just did. I didn't even see him, dude. I just took off. I didn't even see him. I could have ran right into him. I hear, I hear a friend. I hear a friend. And you gotta stay moving because Chumbo's active too. Chumbo gonna shoot you. Chumbo gonna get you and shoot you. <laughs> the birds! I didn't even see him! I didn't see him until it was too late. Whoa! You already know. You already know. My guy. Hello? Is he coming? Y yonder? Y yonder? I'm gonna go. Go, go, go. He ain't happy. He ain't happy about that now one be it. So what is going on? Why am I not dead yet? Why am I just a wolf? Oh! No, you don't. No, no, you didn't. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, where is it? You need him. How did I get away? How did I get away? How did I? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, this is it. This is the game right here. I'm five out of seven. I'm doing so much better than I thought I was going to do my first try. <laughs> All right, I'm done for now. If you guys want to see me tackle this challenge, it looks a lot easier than I thought it was originally going to be. Honestly, I'm stoked that I got that far. That's nutty. That's really nutty. If I would if I would have gotten in and out of that graveyard section, I would have been fine. But Yonder just happened to be behind me. So, yeah, that's it for this episode of Our Savior Record Colton. I just wanted to get a quick video out to you guys because it's late and I'm trying to keep uploading every day. Um, you guys got something real special coming to you tomorrow though. I'm super excited for it. It's um very cool, very different. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you guys will see me do this challenge, let me know and I will do it. It looks fun and I like new challenges and I really hope Dave expands on this game some more because it is confirmed my favorite Dave Microwaves games game. It really is. It's so good. It's so mwah. It's so good and it's super underrated. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. Subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.